hey guys welcome back to my channel today is the third episode of money management mondays i'm going to track my expenses from last week and then go over my budget see how i'm doing um if you're interested in it stay tuned Okay, so I have some receipts here. Um, I also have my online account open. Um, I only have, I think, maybe four transactions for this week. Um, and then a couple of business transactions, but I've decided to start tracking my, my business expenses here. So that's making life much, much easier. So first I'm gonna write down my expenses for last week. Based on my notes, I have, I never got a receipt for my gas, so, first expense last week was on the 20th, um, was gas, put it in my transportation, that was $40.32. My next expense was also on the 20th, and that was parking. Also transportation, and that was $4. Okay, and one of these was a business expense, but it went on my regular card. It went on my, from my personal account, so I'm just gonna add it to this budget. So that was at UPS, and that was shipping. I'm gonna put this business. And what happened was when I got there, I didn't have my business card with me, so I had to use my personal. That was $3.16. And then looks like the last expense was also on the 21st, is Safeway. That's groceries. And I only spent $18.58. Um, I've been, like I said, from the last video, I've been eating everything in the pantry, the freezer, the fridge. And this was just a few items that I needed to kind of make more meals with. So next, I'm going to highlight my expenses based on category. Um, this is just more for a visual. So I'm gonna make that one transportation. That one is also transportation. This one is business. And lastly, this last one is food. Now I'm going to take these expenses, just these four, and transfer them into this budget. 40, 32, parking was four. Um, Safeway, I know, was 18, 58, and the other one was business, I'll put it under miscellaneous, U, P, U, P, S. And so these are my expenses so far. I think I'm gonna just total them up all together this time. Maybe that might be a little confusing. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna total up the categories in pencil. So that next week when we do our closeout, I'll have a good idea of where I'm at. 
and this one is 44.32. So transportation is 44.32. Um, food, like we had 69. 74 plus 18. 58. So we're at 88.32. Um, this miscellaneous we were at, I don't know if you guys can see this, it's 86.63. if you guys can see that um what i'm looking at here is i think i'm going to have another health expense another pharmacy probably nothing here i may do another little grocery shop next week um nothing in entertainment Business, kind of done with, I don't think I have any more expenses for business. There is something that I did purchase on Amazon. Half of it was business related. Half of it was starting my Christmas shopping. So I just bought one gift to stash away. So yeah, I think that's it. Should we do a total? Uh, total of how much we've spent so far. So, let's do a total. We have a thousand for rent or housing plus 44 32 for transportation plus so far 88 32 for food 928 for pharmacy and then 89. Okay, so now that I've calculated it all, so far we have spent $2,462.62. Um, we don't have much more money to spend because our income is only 2543 so I don't want to go over that. So basically we'll have pharmacy and maybe food and that should be it for the rest of this month. Okay guys, so we are still under budget based on our income. We may have two more expenses that would be food and um, pharmacy costs and that should be it um, mostly. Everything's good. It was a tight budget, but we were able to do a couple of things, so I am very proud of being able to pay off my credit card. Um, I think that's about it. Okay, guys, there is one expense I forgot to add, and that is a personal expense. And that was the new um, Erin Condren Budget Planner went ahead and purchased that so EC planner um, they came up with a new budget planner I am gonna do a a review and a flip through of it um, it was a collab with clever girl finance who I follow so I did purchase that and I purchased the advent calendar Had a um, coupon code for my birthday, so that was exciting. I got to use that, and I had another coupon code for something else, so it came out really cheap. So that was part of my personal spending. Um, and if you are interested in seeing a flip through of that budget planner, um, go ahead and put it in the comments. Let me know. I'm really excited to get it. Hopefully, it'll be here by next week, if not the week after. Um, but yeah, I love those 
I love Clever Girl Finance and I love um, Erin Conjure Budget Planners. The only drawback to this planner is it's not May 5. Um, so that's what I needed to add. And so that changes our total expenditures to add that in. 47 3 equals. So yeah, we're at 2510 47 cents. Not 46 cents. $2,510.46. So yes, we are under budget. We are still under budget. However, I think pharmacy will send me over and I'm not planning to do any more grocery shopping. And that's it. And we'll see what things look like um, next week when we close out the budget. If you have any questions, please go ahead. Feel free to put them in the comments below. Um, if you like this type of content, please go ahead and subscribe. And, um, I hope you had a wonderful weekend and have a amazing week. Thanks for watching. Bye!